Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 20 of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So this is going to be the concluding session on understanding the F12 configuration for all voucher types. So in this session, we will see a couple of more voucher types that is journal voucher, contra voucher, debit note voucher and credit note vouchers. So you will find that there are common configurations available in the related vouchers. For example, the voucher type configuration that we understood with regards to purchase and sale will be common across the debit note and credit note. Similarly, there are a couple of options which will be common and will be available across the various voucher types. So let's quickly go to tally and then explore the other vouchers and understand the configurations. And also we will realize that these configurations are common and we would have already understood these configurations benefit in our previous sessions. Let's go to tally. We are in the contra voucher. Let us see the F12 configuration related to contra voucher. So I'm going to press F12 configure. And if you notice, all these general details are the same that we saw in our payment voucher and receipt voucher. And couple of them we saw in the sales voucher and also the purchase voucher. So the bank detail we will discuss later when we go into the banking module. So let's come back. I'm going to press control Q and let us go to the next voucher type that is journal. So I'm going to go to the right side button bar and you will see F7 journal here. I'm going to click F7 journal and now I'm going to press F12 configure and again you will notice the same options that are available in the other voucher type are shown here except that if you want to capture the supplier invoice number in case of accounting any asset purchase or any purchases towards expenses on credit basis if you want to capture the purchase invoice number and the date so you can enable this option provide reference number and date once this option is enabled I'm going to press control A, you will get the reference number and the date here. This is going to be useful once you enable the GST module, then the purchase invoice number that you are going to enter here will get captured automatically for GST purpose. The next voucher type that we will be seeing is the credit note. So credit note is generally used towards sales return. So how do we enable credit note now on the right hand side button bar you will not see the button credit note on the face of the button bar so what you need to do is you will have to go to f10 other vouchers click on f10 other vouchers and you will see the credit note and the debit note listed here so if you can remember the keyboard shortcut then you don't have to press F10 other vouchers and then select it. So credit note is Alt F6. So I'm going to select credit note and now we will press F12 configuration and see what are the configurations that are related to credit note and sales invoice. I'm going to press F12 configure and here you see the options related to credit note. One extra option that you will see here in the credit note is provide original invoice detail. This option, if you make this as S, then you can capture the original invoice number and the date for which the credit note is being raised. Rest of the options are similar to the one we saw in the sales voucher. So I'm just going to give you the comparison of this F12 configuration with the F12 configuration of sales voucher, which you can see here that the only difference that you're seeing 
is the provide original invoice details. So I'm going to press control Q to go back. And now we will have to see the F12 configuration related to debit note. A debit note again is generally raised on account of purchase return. So again, remember you come to the right hand side button bar, click on F10 other voucher and you have the debit note here. Again, the keyboard shortcut for this is Alt F5. So if you remember the keyboard shortcut, you can straight away get the debit note from any voucher type that you are currently in. So I'm going to select debit note and I'm going to press F12 configure. Again here under debit note, you will see this extra option appearing that is provide original invoice detail. The same way here you can capture your original purchase invoice and date in the debit note. So again, a quick comparison between the configuration options of debit note with the purchase invoice for your reference. I hope this entire series on F12 configuration for voucher type would be of great help for your organization and you would have understood the benefit of this configurations and accordingly you can make use of this configurations in your organizations for better managing your data. So as I mentioned, this completes our F12 configuration for voucher type. We will start a new series on the other tally feature. So thank you all very much for staying till the end and see you all in the next session. Thank you very much.